This is the synagogue in Chorazin. You can tell it's a Byzantine synagogue. It's made out of basalt stone, so it's black in its colors. But a long time ago, it was beautiful. It was two stories. It was a place where the Jews came to worship and to seek the Lord and to read the word. Unfortunately, when the word came to them in the form of Jesus, who came into the world to show everybody his father, to show what God is really like, he came here and they didn't recognize him. He did miracles here. He said many things here. We don't know what it is. But all we know is that it was enough for Jesus to put a curse on this place, on Capernaum and on Bethsaida, saying that you'll be destroyed because, hey, if these things were done in Sodom and Gomorrah, they would have repented, but you would have none of it. Here in Chorazin, they did find something unique, though. They called it the seat of Moses. It's over in Matthew chapter 23, uh, verses 1 through 12, where Jesus rebukes the Pharisees for wanting to sit in this seat because it was the seat of, let's say, guest speakers or very special people. As I turn the camera around, you can see it right behind me, right here. Now, this is a replica. The original is over in the Israel Museum, but this is where the people who were important wanted to sit. But what's interesting is that it's right near the entrance to the synagogue. You can see the door right there. And if you were to look straight past that door about 90 miles away is Jerusalem and the synagogue entrance is always faced as you were in the synagogue out towards Jerusalem. Notice the position of the chair which was typical of it. They would put it here because the important seats the people were closest to Jerusalem. But I find also that the most important people being closest to Jerusalem also block the view of the holy place. Jesus said these guys seek these important seats he said, that's not your way. The Gentiles lord it over, not so with you. That's the lesson he gave to them. These people were not humble, these Pharisees, these Jewish religious leaders that were constantly attacking him because he was stealing their thunder. Well, Jesus rebuked them really good and hard with the seat of Moses. You're blocking the glory of God. God help us that we don't block his glory either. But actually when people see us, oh, I pray that they would see Jesus coming. When they see you coming, they would say, this person is like him. God bless you.